So uh, I'm happy to open up the floor. Leeds Grenville MP Gord Brown held pre-budget consultations in Brockville and North Grenville last week, as well as one-on-one -on -one meetings with constituents to discuss federal issues prior to the federal budget. Brown was at the Royal Brock Quality Inn Hotel in Brockville on Wednesday and at the North Grenville Municipal Center in Kempville on Thursday. He also held one-on-one -on -one sessions last week in Prescott, North Grenville and Gananoque. This is the third year in a row I have uh, sought input on the federal budget from the constituents of uh, Leeds and Grenville. Uh, I think it's a great idea to hear from people in our riding what they would like to see in the budget. It's uh, a way that people like to see their member interact with them and be able to take their concerns and, and issues to the government. And because I happen to sit on the government side, I have uh, that access directly to the finance minister. What I've been hearing from the constituents of Leeds and Grenville over the last uh, little while, by mail, email, and by uh, the people showing up at our meetings, was number one, they'd like to see us uh, work to get the deficit down. It's something that Canadians expect us to do, to live uh, within our means and we are working towards balancing the budget by 2015-2016 and we also are cognizant that we are uh, working our way through the the economic downturn of 2008-2009 that that really had an impact on our economy a lot of jobs were lost uh, so the government took that into account in the budget two years ago uh, brought in Canada's economic action plan which uh, has created many jobs uh, as well as, as uh, the, the, a lot of those projects that were funded through the Economic Action Plan are right here in Leeds and Grenville. Uh, projects such as the library in North Grenville, which is currently under construction. And there are projects um, including the Port of Prescott, as well as, as road work, bridge work, uh, water system upgrades throughout Leeds and Grenville that are currently underway for projects that should be completed uh, fairly soon. So. Uh, people were happy to see us investing in, in the economy, making long-term investments in a positive way. Uh, they didn't mind their money being spent on that, but they did want to see us move back towards surplus, and that's uh, what we're planning to do. Two years ago, the idea of the home renovation tax credit was put forward by a constituent uh, who's now a councillor, Tim Sutton, uh, who's a councillor in, in uh, North Grenville, and that's one idea that actually found its way into the budget two years ago. Uh, people throughout Leeds and Granville have taken advantage of the Eastern Ontario Development Program which is administered by our Community Development Corporations. Uh, the three of them that serve Leeds and Granville, the Thousand Islands, the Granville and Valley Heartland Community Development Corporations, they administer this Eastern Ontario Development Program. It has uh, created jobs, has made an impact on our communities. We're often out uh, doing funding announcements and, and working with local uh, community businesses and organizations and, and it has had a positive impact on our economy. People want to see that continued and I've been championing uh, that program. What I will be doing with this uh, information that we've been gathering up, uh, we will be taking that, we'll be submitting a report uh, to the Finance Minister Jim Flaherty in the next uh, week or so. Uh, my colleagues from across the country are doing this. The Prime Minister asked us to go out, hold these meetings, get input from our constituents and to forward that information uh, so that that can, can be taken into account when the budget uh, is being formulated, which has been worked on already. We expect to see the budget in the next couple of months. Dale Elliott, BNTV News, Brockville.